Hello everybody, my name is Scripto, and welcome back to Sky Factory 4 with Scott. Hi Scott. Hello. How are you doing today? Alright, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty fine. Did a bunch of stuff between episodes, so let's have a quick look around. Uh, Scott exchanged our bridge from our spawn point all the way over there with concrete so that running around would be a little bit quicker. Teleporting back and forth between dimensions is a bit tedious when you have to run every time. So, that works. I also extended that one over to the right so it's now symmetrical. That barked me, I couldn't let it go. Yeah. <laughs> then over here... Um, <laughs> this is now automatically harvested. So what I did is I made this harvester from Cyclic. Let's have a look at the recipe real quick. Harvestor. Up here. It's nothing special. I mean, it's a dispenser. Yeah, diamond, emerald, leather quartz, obsidian. We have all of that, right? We can get that for free, so no big deal. Uh, they do need power, so there's a point on there. And then they do have an inventory, and what you do is you set them to always on, you can say preview area, and you see that's the area they're harvesting, and you can make that really big. But the bigger it is, the more power it uses, I believe. As a big internal storage there. And you can set them to single harvest or area harvest. Area is basically whenever the tick happens where it tries to harvest, it does the whole thing. Otherwise it would just go through one plan, next plan, next plan, every tick. So it takes longer, but it uses less power. I don't care about power. Uh, the thing is, when you look at this in the recipe book and look at information, it says the harvested crops just land where they are so you can use other means to collect them, a magnet, a fan, or whatever. So what I did is, down here, first of all I made a platform, we're gonna use that later. Um, I put down absorption hoppers so that they could pick up everything. Turns out, complete waste of time, because they do have an inventory and they collect all the things, so we just need to extract out of them. Well, what can I say? <laughs> Dry and error. So they're harvesting all the things. It's all put into storage. I should probably switch the overlay back off because that's part of me now. There you go. We have four of them for all the fields. It's running quite nicely. And we will get into some more wheat or maybe carrot or maybe potato farming downstairs when we do our next generator setup. Probably. Speaking of generators... That still works. <laughs> Generators are over here, if I remember correctly. Ooh. Crouch at the right moment. Lovely, everything looks good. Generators are still running, doing fine. Stopped right now, so we're not using any power, looking good. Well, this one is still doing a bit of a thing. How are we? Batteries full. How are you? You're mostly full. We are outputting 200 RF per tick. Which of you machines is running? Not you. Not you. Something's running. Well, it's probably the harvesters up there. I think they use 50 each. Up there? Up there. Right there. Anyway, that's running. Um, also, this setup kind of works. Uh, the enriching factory does what it's supposed to do. You put the ember in there and you get uh, the dust, and then it's got put over here. The thing is, these cables aren't fast enough. Even with a stack upgrade and three speed upgrades, and I tried just stack upgrades and more speed upgrades, any combination you can think of, these last two slots don't get emptied, so they can only handle the first three, really. And then whenever these are actually empty, so when you've done all your smelting, then these two get emptied. That's a bit of a thing, because they are just sitting here doing nothing. So, you might think of something. I might just put a chest on top, and then I have more connection options to the chest. I can put one of these on top, I can put one in the back, and that should help. Otherwise, we're just slowing that thing down. Mm. But what I want to do first, before we get into deep mob learning, as promised, I want to change this. This is running. It's doing its thing. I just don't like it. <laughs> it's an early game setup, and it's doing its thing. Uh, there is one thing, though, that is this right here, the auto-clicker. Uh, that's basically doing a right-click. And, you know, when you right-click this barrel, you don't drop stuff anywhere in the world. You don't have to make sure that you don't over-flood it, because when you right-click and that is full, you can't right-click anymore. So I guess that works quite nicely. Also, we don't need the redstone setup, so it's going to be way more compact. Yeah, let's do that first. Let's have a look at the clicker here. What's the recipe? We need a dispenser, redstone block, and polished diorite. And polished diorite is basically just quartz and cobblestone, and then you can craft that straight away into diorite, and, you know, diorite, four of those make four polished diorite. That's the easiest way of doing it, probably. Yeah. I think we have that all. So, let's see if we can do that. User maketh 
how many? I can do five. So let me get rid of that setup. I'm probably going to move it over there and also get rid of these two generators because lava is for free. All the other stuff is not. We do harvest, but it, it will run out. Lava won't ever. As long as we have a good enough cobble generator. So, and here we are. And the horse is still here. It's doing things. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I do know that this stuff is all gone. Yeah. Uh -huh. I stuck the super sound muffler up here and added all the sounds that are in this area. Gave it a nice range. So that should have everything. That's why it's so quiet. This over here we technically don't need anymore. Then again, if I remove that, there's a yellow X on there. So I don't want stuff to spawn over here. This will go eventually as soon as we can connect this cable. And we can only connect that as soon as this thing is getting its whatever that was. Brine, hydrogen, chloride, something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have this over here. Look at that in all its glory. We have six, um, what are they called? Upgradable geothermal generators. Yeah, those, the lava things. With 64 speed modifiers in there, of course, why not? And you can see it ticking. Once in a while it's actually doing something. Um, the battery is completely full, though. So is that one. Yes. That's quite nice. So let's have a look at this setup. Over yonder. No, over here. We have a fully upgraded cobblestone generator, which we could do now. Uh, so some emeralds and um, <laughs> some blaze rods, which we have tons of. Yeah, I'm going to get to that in a second. Uh, which is export... Well, it can do one cobblestone per tick. And then it's exporting into these auto clickers, which have an inventory. You can right click and you can set them to speed zero, one click every 500 ticks. That's what, 25 seconds? Doesn't cost any power. Or you can say one click every 10 ticks for 50 RF per tick. Or you could completely bonkers one click every tick for 500 RF per tick. Uh, I have it set to 10 ticks, so twice per second. That should be enough. That means every two seconds, uh, these cauldron over here, this lovely polished granite cauldron. Look at it. Mm. Every two seconds it's full. It, well, it would be if stuff wasn't extracted immediately via fluid extraction cable, which can do one bucket, so one full cauldron, um, whenever. I don't know if that once per second or what. It doesn't really say. Yeah, just transfer rate. That's all it says. Um, so this is, this is doing its thing. It's also getting power from over here. That's the good thing when you have these bundled cables. I just stuck a point on here and all the things are getting power at the same time. The same cable is transporting uh, the cobblestone. Reminds me a little bit of NIO. Although I still think NIO is better. <laughs> then over here we're extracting the fluids, putting them straight into the generators, and we're extracting the power via extraction cable set to maximum into the battery and from there into a flux point. Now this thing can only extract at 64,000 whatever per tick per second, whatever that is. But it doesn't say it can It can only transfer that much. So I stuck one here and one here, both to the same point. So this thing, if everything was haywire, should be receiving 128,000. That should be good for a while. If not, I can still attach something here and on the back, and uh, we can have four connections on here, even below. That would be five connections then. 360,000. That should be good for a while, I think. Uh, move the, the flux storage over here as well, just to have that in one spot. And then over here, for the overflow of the lava, I attached the drum and the ender tank again. So that's that. Not much to it, but it's working. Six cauldrons, six generators. I think we could have done all of this, as you can see now, with probably two or three cauldrons. Why are you doing nothing? Are you switched off by any chance? No. It doesn't even have a switch off button. Uh, it has power. For some reason it doesn't do anything. But maybe that, yeah, that's just a visual glitch. Sometimes it's looking full, sometimes it's looking empty. It's a bit weird. It might just be the server, I don't know. Anyway, that's done. So next thing I do want to get into before we finally get into the whole deep mob learning thing is some more auto crafting. We have the auto smelting going, that's all nice and dandy. The thing is we still need to make the amber. And if we look in here, and you look at all the acorns, we have 29,000 cottonwood acorn, for example. And I just ran out of redstone. We have all the acorns in the world, and we do have some blocks, because I crafted them. But then again, we need to, we need to craft them. <laughs> that's just the thing. So if we look at this recipe here, that's just acorns turn into block of redstone. I want that done automatically. Whenever we have acorns, make redstone, because what else can you do with these? 
You can make redstone, you can make saplings. That's all you can do. So why would we want saplings? We want redstone. That's what they're here for. Now there are a couple of machines that can probably do that, and I say probably because I haven't tested it yet. So there's the packager from Cyclic. It needs some colored dye, a crafting table, and a furnace. Then there is this thing, the autocrafter. Set the recipe, and this will autocraft as many as it can. Well, for the packager, it says packages items in bulk such as iron and gold into blocks. Supports custom recipes. Yada yada yada. So this might just take whatever you give it, and as as long as it knows a recipe for it, it will do it. This you will have to set a recipe. Uh, also needs an observer and a piston and a bone block. That's not that difficult. And then there is the formulaic assemblicator, because you just had to make it complicated. Well, it is a mechanism machine, which means it can probably be upgraded. I don't know that. Assemble. Assemble. There, there is no assembling machine here, as far as I can see, so probably it can't be upgraded. And it doesn't have an info tab, so I can't tell you. Um, it is relatively expensive to make compared to the others. It uses a lot of steel. So I did decide on making the, the packager first. Uh, let's make one of these. As you can see, we can make a bunch of them, but you know, let, let's have a look at it first. Let's put that here. Do you need power? It seems like you need power. Why wouldn't you need power? You're from Cyclic, you need power. Alright, so let's take that somewhere where we can give it some power. Do we have power running around here anywhere? No, nope, but we can stuck it over there. No, nope. Jeff, click. Also, I haven't explained this, right? Mm, yeah, that's a bit of a thing. So, there's an export cable here, exporting into the uncrafting grinder, and guess what? It's exporting Ardite saplings. And this one over here is exporting cobalt saplings. Then underneath, we have hoppers, because these, these import cables don't really work, no matter where you attach them. So I extract via hopper, and then I extract from the hopper via storage import cable. That does work, no problem. Then also leaves some room to put in the, uh, the flux points, so we have power. And then, well, it gets put into storage, as usual. And up here we have the same setup with the loot fabricators. This one is set to nothing right now, so we have a bunch of pristine blaze metal lying around. But <laughs> we also have a bunch of blaze rods lying around. I might just want to have Inferium Essence, or I might just want to have Sulphur, so for now I have it off. And this one over here, um, that's for the Wither me uh, yeah, Meta, I think. Pristine, Wither, where is it? One of these, one of the glowy bits. That one. And uh, as we all know, that stuff is making nether stars. So this is set up to do that automatically. And we should actually have some in the system. 15. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, if we look at blaze rods, <laughs> 657. We had more nether stars. The issue is just I took them and then I went upstairs here, as I usually do, crafted them with a filing cabinet, which can actually now see the crafting station next to it. That's cool. Oh yeah, that's the sandwich station. Hmm. And um, that folder I got said I have one nether star and I'm pretty sure I put a stack in there. Yeah. Well, we lost that. That's one of the glitches that seems to happen quite often here when I craft folders. Also, <laughs> sandwich station is quite nice. You put in some bread and then ingredients, whatever ingredients, and you can give it a name and then you get stuff like this. Cookie, bright egg, golden carrot and golden apple sandwich. Quality average. Oh. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> definitely will quench your hunger, no problem. Uh, feed me Seymour, golden apple, golden carrot, bacon, cookie bread. Yeah, why not, right? I mean, 11 haunches, 18 saturation, sure, I take that. So we're going to play around with that a little bit and see what we can do um, by using the renewable sources we get from over there. And maybe adding some other stuff. I mean, who wouldn't like some iron on a sandwich? I don't know. Right, so this is set up. Now, what can you do? You have power. So, what happens if we put... All right, acorn, no. Bacon acorn, no. Where's the redstone? Right here. Let's give me a stack of that. What happens if I put that in there? Oh yeah, look. Just crafts block of redstone. That's lovely. Now, does that work when you need more than just the one? What do we have right now? How about clay? How are you made? You need that recipe. So just acorns won't do it. But there isn't a recipe here, a crafting recipe, that uses just acorns. So that might actually work. 
clay. Let's see. Let's take a stack of that and a stack of that. Now, if I put you in here, you're not doing anything. If I put you in here, it's making the clay. Oh, that's lovely. Hmm. I could do that. How about this thing? Can I make that? No, almost. Now, I do have a crafting table, though. I should have all the crafting tables. Where did the crafting tables go? I know I made a bunch. Yeah, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Well, not in here. I'm pretty sure I don't have a folder for them. Oh, well. Right here. <laughs> they're still in the crafting grid upstairs, so that's why they're not shown up in storage. That's one of the weird things I don't like about this thing, but I, I, I guess you would have that with every other as well. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Can I get this, please? Thank you. And then make one of these. Now it's just trolling me. There you go. Let's put you, I don't know, here. Ah, so this one has a big input, a big output, no power, because it's totally not attached. Weird. Maybe it just gets power when you actually have a recipe set up. And you can set one recipe in here, it seems. So, if we go and say, oh, I don't know, how about coal? What does coal need? That's that, right here. So, give me uh, hmm, that doesn't work the way I want it to work. I want you and you. And then I go in here. Can I actually in here shift click? No, oh, it seems I can. Interesting. That one, please. Nice, and it knows that makes coal, and then I just put that in there. And it's actually quite fast, it makes coal. But it can only do one recipe. Then again, the inventory is bigger. And since I only need these two pieces, I can have six, no, five stacks of each. I can't even count. Five stacks of each, turning that into this stuff, and then I just have to extract it. Uh, while in this one, I only have six fields in total. So I can have one stack of each, and then I can have three different recipes in here. So I could have coal, and I could have clay, and maybe glowstone or whatever. And then output doesn't really matter, as long as there's three slots, that would be good. Dong. Somebody did something. Hmm. I don't know. I think this is better. It's more versatile. And we don't need as many, as long as it can craft all the things at the same time. Which I'm not sure it can, because then I need to make sure that these, these import cables that you can actually set them to do not do more than one stack of each. Otherwise, I can really only put one stuff in here. Hmm. It's weird. But can I overflow this? That is also a question. Can I just have all of this filled up with one of the ingredients and then not have the other? Because that would be an issue. It would just stop working. Huh. So how about trying this one then? That's a bunch of crafting. We need some more steel, so I need to get that dusted and smelted. So I meet you right back. Change of plans. <laughs> Change of plans. I opted to go for the packages and not do that. That what is called the formulaic assembly cater thing, right? Because I found that you have these right here, the stock upgrade for the export cable. It says keep a specific amount of items in the attached inventory only in export cable. So I have pre-stocked this. I don't know if that does anything. What I can't seem to figure out is if I need to do anything in here. I can say import filter and imports the items I have in there, but I only ever get one. I cannot put them in here manually, I only ever get one. So, well, as long as that's keeping one in the inventory, that would not do much, right? Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Most of these don't have recipes, like the first four, and then I decided, you know, might as well test that first. Other than that, it's a pretty simple setup, right? I mean, we have exporters put it, pushing stuff into there, and then we have importers putting stuff out. I opted to have the exporters down here because that's where we set up uh, what we want to have in there. And these are just taking out. There's nothing really much to it. I also don't have speed upgrades on these yet. This is... yeah. 
not being able to shift click these in here, but having to actually go in there manually and ugh, it takes time. This already took like 40 minutes. It shouldn't have taken that long. Anyway, let's set this power. And now we're consuming a crap ton of power because all of this needs to power up. See, it's doing stuff. And it kind of seems to be working. Uh, this should probably be set to blacklist so it actually starts exporting. Hmm. Kinda. Doesn't seem to work on these. Well, it's probably trying to uh, increase these first two. Well, it increases the first one until the stack is full. Then it tries to do that with that one. And then it realizes, hmm, <laughs> we could do these. But as soon as it's done with this, it starts crafting, right? So this one will be not a full stack, so it tries to do it again. And uh, never gets to these, really. Unless I severely limit the output here. I mean, if I do this. Nothing happens. Or it's just too fast, but I should see something over here at least. Uh, how about the standard setup doing that? Or can you just not extract from the top? That would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, that would be perfect. <laughs> it seems like that is the issue. As soon as that stack is full, this can't go anywhere else, so this will fill up, and then these will start filling up and crafting as long as they can. Or not. Unless these are already full and it just is fooling me again. No, it's not. I mean, it worked at some point. I have copper and I have gold resin, or amber. That's from these. It does have these. Yeah, that seems a bit buggy. We might have to get into some other exporting mechanisms, or we just have to wait until we get into a real storage system, like uh, applied energistics, which we can do now since we have power. But I do want, <laughs> I do want to upgrade power even further before we do that. Although, if this is holding us back, then we might just as well switch over. Um, the good thing about applied energistics is that channels have been uh, disabled in this mod pack, so we don't even have to worry about peer-to-peer -peer and which cable and how many stuff do we attach to a cable. It basically works like simple storage. It just needs power and can do way more stuff. It might be time to switch because this clearly isn't working the way it should. I would say so. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's something for for another episode. So for for now, we're just gonna leave this as it is and not worry about it, which would be nice, right? Not worry about a thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get into this deep mob learning because it's it's about time that we actually do that. I mean, I promise, right? So this can go. No, 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 no. Don't don't type weird things. Press a button <laughs> over here. There you go. So what do we need to get started? We do need a simulation chamber. Can we do that? Lapis, suit, covered machine, casing? Probably. Let's have a look. See what we're missing. Probably the one in the middle. Uh, for which we need that. Which we still have. Lovely. Then maketh. Good. For now, that is what we need to get started. We also need this guy, the deep mob learner. Which, well, we're missing everything here now. Uh, ooh. What? Don't have any stone anymore. We need to smelt up some stone, it seems. Give me that. You. You. At least our semi automatic smelting system is working and filling up with coal. That's, that's lovely. Alright, what else do we need? We need these blank patterns, but also need chiseled stone. That's so lovely. So, I'm gonna make one of these, the Deep Mob Learner, or, well, the Deep Learner for the Deep Mob Learning Deep Learner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, then we will craft that into probably this guy, the Wither Skeleton Data Model, because we do have one Wither Skeleton Skull, and uh, it's, it's part of the quest, if I remember correctly. Where are they? Wither away. 
Acquire Pristine with a Skeleton Matter from Deep Mob Learning. Yeah, for that we do need that. We also need uh, one for a Zombie. But Zombies over here spawn... Where? Over there. In the mob farm. And get annihilated. We could obviously use that just switch off the annihilation machine and just stand there for a minute or two. That could work. Um, but we could also just go to the nether and fight some wither skeletons. And uh, that is something we will have to do. So, do we have some stone that I can use? Yes, a little bit. Should also open up to import stuff automatically. That would be quite nice. Anyway, deep mob learner. Make one of those. Yes, for that we need more of these. Uh, let's make a bunch. There you go. We will still need more. Oh, if if you're going to be heading off to fight weather skeletons, mm, I got yeah. something for you here. Got your little present. Oh, really? I'm so excited now. <laughs> the antidote charm. Auto cure poison and wither. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. And then one of these. What are we missing now? Oh, again, one of those? Sure. And now we are out of the stone that we need for the middle, right? <sighs> sure, see, I know things. Well, there's more stone right here. And now I have this charm in my hand all the time. <laughs> How charming! There we go. Yes. <laughs> and then we do the Wither Skeleton Data Model with the one, the one Wither Skeleton skull we have. Lovely. So, um, for now, let's get that out of our hand. I think we're gonna demolish you, because I don't need you over here anymore. I don't need you anymore. Shouldn't do that. Put that on. Please insert a data model to begin the simulation. So what this does is it basically tries to simulate spawning in whatever model you put in here. So if you put that in there, it will tell us, can't do. Please insert a basic model or better. Now, what, what does that mean? If you look at this and hold shift, it says faulty. No data collected. We get one data per kill. And it costs some stuff and it gives us some stuff. Okay, that's not that important right now. What we want is we shift, well, we right click this and then we put this in here. And then it says, yeah, well, that's a wither skeleton. You're going to do that. And uh, you need to defeat a six to get this up to basic tier. And this thing over here said, please insert basic tier. So that's what we're going to do. For that, we have to put that now offhand. And it says now on the bottom right, uh, six to go. Show. Let's put this lovely charm up here. We probably want to switch the air charm back on. My, no, wing charm? No, we leave that off for now. And uh, we, we will also want to equip our things. Don't need you. Don't need you right now. Let's put those in there. And put the uncrafting grinder away because it really is not necessary right now. And now we will go and fight some and see what happens. I'm not 100% sure if ranged weapons do count. Well, we do have our cactus paper cleaver. And here we are, and as I just discovered, as soon as I switch to a two-handed weapon, I can't see <laughs> that, that little data model collection thingy in my offhand anymore, which is quite good because it's annoying when it's on screen. So now we're going to go around and see if we can find a Wither Skeleton, and I think there is one. I don't know if range works. I said that. I stick to it. Well, it seems to have worked. It says five to go. That's quite good. There's no looting on this thing, so we don't get any wither skeleton skulls from it. It's a bit of a pain. Hello there! Wow, you you are very accurate. Accurate to test weapon. Four to go. What are you? You have to go. And it did go, and that worked. That's a spawner right there, okay. Might steal that at some point. You never know. Also, you're active. You need to go. Or do something stupid. Where is that with a skeleton that just was there? Teleported over there. By means of an Enderman. Or something. Two to go. Yeah. Shoot somebody else. One. Still one. What? What the hell? Alright, that's weird. I can see you smoking. Smoking kills. Because I can see you and then I can shoot you. There you go. Reached basic tier. Now we could continue doing this. As you can see there it says 12 to go now. That would be the next, the advanced tier probably. 
And that goes up quite a while. But with the basic tier, we can uh, start using our machinery. Which we're going to go for. So if I go waypoints and I say a home teleport. Because <laughs> why not, right? Then I don't have to run all the way over here. Hello. Hello. Put that back in there. So, then let's take that out. Let's see what happens. There you go. With us getting defeated 7, defeat 11 motor reach advanced. Don't want to. I'm just going to go over here. Put that in there. Tier basic, iteration 0, pristine chance 5%. And the pristine stuff is what we're looking for right here. Those balls. Those are the ones you can put in the loot fabricator and get stuff out of it. Cannot begin simulation. Missing polymer medium. Yes, we are missing this stuff. Polymer clay, which we should be able to do. It's iron gold, some clay, some lapis. Let's grab a bunch. Why wouldn't we? And that makes 16. I mean, this is a cheap recipe. By any standard. Let's make two stacks. Alright, let's drop that in here. And you can see the, the bar going up here. 448 data collected. Well, maybe it just needs that that much. I don't know. It's not doing anything, it seems. There, there should be stuff. Oh, it's doing something. We're getting things. It does have power. It says it needs 880 RF per tick. We do have data collected, but there's no, no text appearing here. See, now it's 6, so it ran another simulation. Hmm. Hellish matter. That should be... Why a hellish matter from deep map learning? I have that. I have that right here. Why, why, why are you no quest? I just ate that. That gives you experience? That's cool. Oh, nice. I get regeneration too and absorption from eating your sandwich. Duration's four. Yeah, so this will go up and up and up, and when it's through 48 cycles, it should advance to the next tier. Somewhere along the way. <laughs> it just takes longer in here. Uh, data per kit is 4. So we should actually get quite a bit. It says data collected 9. Maybe that's data per kit 4 because it has to be a player, because that will make sense. 48 divided by 4 is 12, and it's sad we need to do 12 kills. In here it seems to do just one data. Well, Alright then, do your thing. There's pristine stuff. With it away. It, it still doesn't show as completed, but I have it. Weird. Anyway, if we put that in here, we can get with our skeleton skulls, coal, necrotic bones, or inferior essence. We're gonna go and do these. I have to unclick this. Something isn't working right now. Something definitely isn't working right now. I take that out. Click to remove. I'm clicking. It's not doing anything. I love it when it's buggy. And you're just standing around there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, I gotta step out here, so. Yeah, well, you I'll do your thing. you later. Sure. All right. Have a good one. Right. Bye. I have a note block here now. Interesting. Oh, the, now that is working. That's weird. This is still not doing any text, but this did its thing. We do have 12 with us skeleton skulls now. Did we get the stuff complete? No. I still have it in my inventory. That is weird. It is just weird. Uh, but it's, it's also doing its thing. That's quite nice. So we're going to let this run for a while, and this should get up the tiers until it goes to uh, self-aware. And then we're going to have some fun with it. Because then we're going to get into the trial keystone, and how that works, I'm going to show you next time. For now, we do want to upgrade a bunch of things. And by a bunch of things, I mean this. Tinkers is marvelous, and is lovely, and we're going to have to play around with it some more. But what it doesn't do is give you creative flight. This stuff over here does. And it has a bunch of durability, as you can see. Set bonus, flight. And you can charm it with things. So, if you look at this, and then go to the tinkering table... <laughs> Yeah, mm hmm tinkering table. Uh, you can put strength, absorption, wither resistance, anti-venom, all the things. 
all kinds of things. Fire resistance, and just resistance. Yeah, you can put all of that on here by, by doing this thing. Uh, but to craft these, you need premium ingots and an armor core. And that's the same for all of them. It's the basic recipe with one piece being exchanged by this armor core. So we need four of these. Each one of these needs a nether star, and each one of these needs a wither skeleton skull. So that's three times four, that's twelve. Oh, we have twelve. Surprise. And we do have four nether stars, no problem. Uh, needs the previous tier. Yes, we have all of that. The only thing holding us back here, really, is the Supremium itself and um, crafting all of these these ingots. And that, because it needs the, the tier below that, right? But since we do have Supremium and quite a bit of it, let's have a look at that. Let's take a stack. So I can take one of these, put them in here, and I get four of those. That's quite lovely. Now I can take one of that, put it in here, and get four of those. You, you see the pattern here, right? Alright, that took a moment, but only a moment, because it actually isn't that difficult to craft that up. Uh, this was the most amount of time, because I needed to craft all these blocks, which I only had in um, single item form, basically. <laughs> Um, for, for these, pretty easy. I mean, you just go down the tiers. So I thought, okay, I need two of each essence plus the ingot from uh, the stage before to make this one. So I need two stacks for one stack, right? So, yeah, I just took the, the, the maximum tier we have, the Supremium, and made three stacks of the next lower version, these. And then I took one of those stacks and turned it into... Uh, well, four stacks <laughs> of this version, so I still have some leftovers in here, which is quite nice. So now, let's go ahead and do this. The only thing I will miss is the ability to make this invisible. And I don't know if there is the ability to do that, I don't think so. But now we have this lovely armor set. I'm going to take that off, I'm going to put that on. Look at all of that. Look at the armor, look at the toughness. <laughs> That's way better than before. Mm. 8 armor, 1.5 toughness each. 9 armor, 5 armor, okay. Yeah. Compared with this, 2.59 and 4 toughness. The toughness is quite good on this one, but this gives just more armor. And I have my charms in here. I'm gonna just put them away. Might as well just put this away, right? I'm gonna use that later, perhaps. And now, speed, yeah, it's the same, but we do have create a flight and this is quite good this is quite insane doesn't need power nothing ah i've waited for that <laughs> whenever you're doing a sky block you need creative flight just get things going um yeah over here we still have invisible animals you still get the occasional egg that pig i spawned in myself there are seeds for that and we're going to get into that Maybe not yet next episode, but maybe the episode after that. The cows respawned, so I, I vein mined the whole platform, let just everything drop into the void and then put that back. And as you can see, stuff is happening over there. I don't know what that is. It might have been a chicken. I would say that's a sheep eating the grass. It's, I just can't see it. It's weird, right? Um, there's some more pigs down here. I think we might get into this next episode. Hmm. This is going to be resource hogs, and it's going to be quite interesting. I do have sort of a plan. It isn't really worked out yet, though. So now that we have this lovely armor, uh, we can go and do amazing things with it. What I want to do is make this table, though. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Might as well do this one, because we have all the ingredients. How about soul stone? What are you? Stone and soul sand. Oh yeah, we do have that. It's good. And make you? What are we missing? Just a crafting table? I'm 100% certain I put a stack of crafting tables in there. And yeah, they're, they're gone again. I don't know where they are. They're not in here. If they were in here, they would have been found. So don't ask. I don't know. Also, I'm going to get this back because I might need it later. <laughs> Just in case. I do have... I, I do have... That looks weird. I do have this, right? This, this right here. Might as well chuck all of that in there. Where's my where's my head? You. At least then I have that on me. As far as I remember, this stuff stays with you even when you die, because it's technically not your inventory, so you don't lose it. It's quite nice. Oh, what we could do, by the way. Haha, <laughs> what we could do is we could put that in here. 
and then we can swap whenever we want. So we can go boop, 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 boop. Look at that down here. Yeah, it's quite nice. I like it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that for your baubles. That would also be cool. Have your, your battle baubles and your building baubles. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing weird things again. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. Right? We're good. We could take the data model now and go back into the nether and do some more stuff with it. How are we doing on that? We're getting taxed. We're finally getting taxed. Missing polymer. All right. Uh, but it's doing its thing. Go in here. We need more of those. And that one. And we still don't get the achievement for that. That's weird. We didn't get the achievement for that one either. But we did get it for that. <laughs> also didn't get that. I'm pretty sure I made one. That is weird. I don't know what's happening here. I really don't. Anyway, we have all of these. Uh, just in case you were wondering, we did get all of the stuff and I just had to put it in my inventory real quick. Uh, so we have that out of the way. There's not that much left here. I might want to get into the compact machines. Yeah, we will have to do that at some stage and that as well. We can craft Dragon's Breath. Oh, that sounds interesting. Uh, where are we otherwise? Uh, we did want to get into this. That's what we have to do next episode as soon as uh, we're done with a little more of this right here. It is advanced now. <laughs> it needs 300 kids to go to the next tier. Yeah, I might just take that, go to the nether and kill a couple of things because it seems to go faster that way. Anyway, that will be it for today. Look at my fancy red armor. Yeah. I will see you guys next time when we continue with deep mob learning and maybe get into resource hogs. Maybe do some more power. I don't know yet. We'll see. Have a good one. Bye bye.